Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize. Uh, the internet, it might be not good, but, uh, you know, we are taking a risk. Because in front of me, I see that the internet, you know, it's Corona time. Everybody using online, and it's not doing good. But I hope we will be able to finish it before we lose it. Allah is one. Hmm. <clears throat> this is something always we see when we speak to Muhammadan. They think that when they say to us that Allah is one, like they got a big deal, like Allah is one, like Allah is one, Allah is one. Okay, well, he's one what? You see, one of the funny things uh, always I see when, when, uh, when a human being, he talks, sometimes they think by saying Allah is one, like they, they already have a victory. I mean, Allah is one. So Allah is one, Allah is two, Allah is four, if who cares? Why do you think it's a big deal if he's one or two or three or four or five? That is their silly argument. First of all, Allah is one, but he might be one idiot. He might be one fool. He might be one crazy. He might be one lie. He might be all the ones you can imagine, but he cannot be God and we can prove it easy. So what do you say to us? Allah is one and you make articles and look at this. We will show them our signs. Will we show the, uh, the signs? What sign? In the universe. <clears throat> so now, I claim that they have a God. His name is Allah. He is one. And universe is, is the made of Allah. Okay, what is the proof? Well, what is that? Uh, you know what? The universe is not made of Allah. I, I am the one who made it. In the year 2011, I made the universe. Hmm. I mean, this is, I mean, this is the proof that Allah is, uh, is God. A guy he make a verse saying Allah is God, Quran forty one fifty three. Who is the what is the Quran? And look, you see, in in a second you destroy yourself. <clears throat> because if we ask the Muslim, is the Quran created? They say no. Okay, is Allah created? They say no. What? So now we have Allah isn't created. We have the Quran that created. So, is Allah is one? I mean, do you see the stupidity? <clears throat> Somebody saying why we don't see super chat because YouTube don't like what I do, so they, they don't allow super chat in my channel. If you like to donate, you can go to Patreon and you can do it there. You know, we don't care really. I'm not going to apply for super chat no more because they are trying to put the pressure on me to speak as they wish. For me, I speak as I want. And they allowed us to receive donation or not, you know, let them try. <clears throat> so for the one who is asking about uh, Super Chat, this is why. They keep sending me a notification. Uh, your channel is not with guideline. <laughs> okay, we don't want your... Uh, we don't want your YouTube money. Actually, even when somebody makes donation, half of it go to YouTube. It's a theft. All right. So, if you want to help us in the nation, you can go to Patreon and that you can do it. Uh, Simonian, why it is necessary to believe in God, a human child sacrifice, then just believing in God, be honest. Is that a question for me, Mr. Aaron? Is that a question for me, Mr. Aaron? First of all, I'm not Simonian. Secondly, you have no idea talking to who. Secondly, uh, why it's necessarily hold on why yeah, why you guys deleted his message who deleted his message you you, you. the admin in our our uh, you know they are like uh, the, you know the muslims now let the muslim talk So how the poor guy, he can express himself? Just because he said this, you delete his, you know, his comment? Are we Muslim now? We don't allow anyone to talk? We mute, you know, like that's it? Here we go. The comment is gone. Or we cannot have it back. It was a wonderful comment. Okay, thank you, we are blessed. Please don't, don't delete the comment of a Muslim unless he is saying something ugly, filthy, bad language. All right? Don't, please don't. It's okay, it's okay. Have patience. He's a spamming. Give him a warning. Give him a, 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 a time out, you know? 
Come on, he's a Muslim. Put yourself in his shoes. Life is not easy. He's a Muslim. Now, let us show you how a Muslim, he shoot his God, not in the foot, but in sensitive areas. So this is what his comment. Thank you for posting the comment. Why, if it's necessary to believe that in God a human child sacrifice, then just believing in God, be honest. My friend, first of all, we don't believe in a human a child sacrifice. That is your stupidity. Can you prove me wrong? Can you show me where Christians believe in a child a human sacrifice? We don't believe in such a garbage, my friend. So here we see that Muslims have a problem. They don't understand their Quran. They don't understand our book. Yet they have a big mouth. No Christian believe in a child or a human sacrifice. We don't. Why do you see us every morning slaughter somebody for God? Somebody told you we go every morning, we wake up after, before we make our breakfast, we go let us slaughter somebody to God now. It is you who believe in that. It is you who believe in doing jihad so Allah will be happy. It is you who believe in killing your enemy so Allah will heal his chest. That's you, not us. So look what they do. They are the one who practice a human sacrifice to satisfy their God. It is your God, Allah, in chapter 9, verse 29, who says, go and kill the Christians. Hmm? It's your God, Allah, who says, go and in, in, look, cleanse anyone who don't believe in me. It's your prophet who says, I've been commanded to kill anyone who don't believe in Allah. So it is you who believe in a human sacrifice, not us. <clears throat> so when a Muslim, he make a statement, it's always a statement will help us to expose his cult. For our benefit, relax, relax, Christians. We are Christians. We are with victorious. They can say whatever they want. <clears throat> Their words will get them busted. It's the opposite. And remember, you have a Christian prince here. If I leave my toes alone, I can refute them all. My toes, not even my nose. Remember, you are here in the company of who? So look at this. Allah is one, and then the Quran is not a, is not a created. So now we have to divine how we have Allah is one, and we have Quran is one, and Quran is not a created. So who is the one who created the Quran? Nobody. Okay. So Allah is not a created. Quran is not a created. So now we have to divine. So you Muslim are lying to us. How we have one God, you call him Allah, and then you say to us, Quran is not created. Hmm? So the argument about having one God is very silly. And if it's one or two or three, I mean, who cares? The question is, he is one smart God. He is one idiot. He is one funny, he is one crazy, he, he is one horny, what he is, one what? If we check anything in the Quran, we will find that Allah, not only he, okay, he is one God for the Muslim, but he is one crazy God. Have you ever heard of a God, he think that hail is coming from mountains in heaven? He is one, but he is one of his kind, you know, he's crazy. Hmm? Have you ever heard of a God? He promised us women with big boobs. Okay, he's one now. So, but he's one what? Huh? So, when the Muslims, they come to you as a Christian, and this is the video, is to teach you Christians how to answer those Abdul, who they have big mouth, but they have nothing to say. This is the example, chapter 78, verse number three, thirty-three. Okay, the second he said to you, okay, Allah is one. Okay, Allah is one. He promised us one, big boobs. This is the one you are talking about. Allah is one who promised us boys in heaven who will be around us like pearls and they are so white. This is the one. Allah is one and he will promise us virgin. Each time we have sex with them, they became virgin again. That is the one you are talking about. Nice to meet you. So they have big mouth about Allah is one. Allah is one. Allah is one. My friend, your Allah is a one of a crazy God. Funny, idiot. What one? So this is what you are proud about? One? 
They call us, <clears throat> and they always, by the way, get us busted. I mean, when you speak to a Muslim, first you, you, you get ready, you are speaking to a genius. All of them, with no exception. I never spoke to a Muslim and he is not genius. I mean, obviously he is a genius. He believes that there is God who will take him to heaven. He will make his private part never sleep. And he will bring him a lot of women for boom boom. Obviously he is a genius. Hmm? <clears throat> Genius card. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, is this Christian Prince? Yes, it is me. We are live on air. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, slave of Allah. Okay. So <clears throat> in the Bible, Zechariah 14, 2. No, don't share the God topic. Don't share the topic. In the, in the Bible, don't share the topic. Answer me, please. Do you really believe? No. We have a topic. Zachariah. What's Zachariah? Do you know God supposed to be raped? Can we just see that? I have a question about that, actually. Okay, no problem. Answer this, and we can go to Zachariah. No problem. Hello? Hello? Yes. Answer the topic, and we will go to Zachariah. I promise you. So, what was the topic, then? The topic is Muslims are coming to us saying to Allah that Allah is God. But when we look in the Quran, we find funny stories which does not make sense. As an example, Allah, he ordered, uh, sorry, he gave Sulaiman a ring and this ring controlled his kingdom. And he made uh, Sulaiman have a flying carpet. And he made Sulaiman have uh, control of the shayateen. And they die for him and they build for him. And he controlled them. What do you think about this story? Okay. Well, I think it's perfectly fine since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything he wants. He's the creator. As Allah says in the Quran, call Allah. Uh, look, look how they jumped to change the topic. Just to show you the stupidity of this cult. We are asking him, what do you think about your God? Speaking about giving someone a ring and this ring can control the world. He controlled the genie, he controlled the kingdom, he controlled the power, he controlled the sea, he controlled the magic, he controlled everything. And what he answered me, right away he says, Allah is one. Look what? Allah is one. What was the question? And what is the answer? Do you see the stupidity? Because they are bankrupt. They think if they say Allah is one, that's it. Okay, Allah is one. Look, what does this have to do with the question? What this have to do with the question? Hello? I'm asking you the following question. Sulaiman have control of the shayateen and they die for him and they build for him and he controlled them. What do you think about this story? Okay. Well, I think it's perfectly fine since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything he wants. He's the creator. As Allah says in the Quran, Qul Allahu ahad, Allah is samad, hmm. lam yalad wa lam yurad wa lam yakun lahu kufu wa ahad. What does that mean? Allah says he is alone, he was not born, hmm. nor does he have any children, which is well, different to Christian. Allah was alone. Allah is alone and he don't have children. Do, do we Christian believe that God have a children? Do we Christians believe that God has a children? <laughs> and the question is, do you believe in the flying carpet of Solomon? Do you believe that this flying carpet can carry 600,000 chairs and the kingdom, the kingship of Solomon and his, according to Muhammad, the army of Solomon can go all the way from Jerusalem all the way to Iraq. No space. All of this in the top of the flying carpet. And he, it, all of this is perfectly fine for him. It's perfectly fine because Allah can do anything. He's the creator. As Allah says in the Quran, call Allah ahad. And he made the... The topic is Muslims are coming to us saying to Allah that Allah is God. But when we look in the Quran, we... The one who keeps saying the story of Adam, my friend, can't you wait? Don't you see we are talking? 
Okay, the story of Adam, the story of Adam, the story of Adam. We we saw it. Just wait. What people they eat in the morning? The story of is the story of Adam and Eve. Metaphorical myth or real? We saw it. Let me breathe. Let me finish the topic. Don't get married, my friend uh, Bumbo. I'm honestly good. Don't get married. Your 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 fiance she will you know she will she will jump from the window second day. Is that what do you do? You sit next to her and you keep saying like, rrr, 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 rrr. just take a break. Breathe, breathe. There's a logic. When somebody's speaking about the topic, we wait for him until he finishes the topic, and then you can post your question. All right, Mr. Bamboo. You find funny stories which does not make sense. As an example, Allah he order uh, sorry, he gave Suleiman a ring. And this ring controlled his kingdom, and he made uh, Suleiman have a flying carpet, and he made Suleiman have uh, control of the shayateen, and they die for him, and they build for him, and he controlled them. What do you think about this story? Okay, well, I think it's perfectly fine since Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can do anything He wants. Yeah, he He's can the do. Creator, mm -hmm. as Allah says in the Quran, "Call Allah Ahad, Allah is Samad, Lam Yalad, Lam Yurad, Lam Yakun Lahu Kufuwan Ahad." What does that mean? Allah says He is alone. He was not born, hmm. nor does He have any children, which is well, different to Christianity. No, my friend. In which okay, uh, hold on. Do you, speak, do you speak? Do you speak Arabic? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay. So there's three gods. Do you, do you speak or Arabic? Or Christians say three equals one, uh, which do, is not mathematical. Do you correct. speak Arabic? Alhamdulillah. Okay. So you said "Qul huwa Allahu ahad," right? Yeah. Say okay. Allah is one. Okay. Kul, the word ahad, the word ahad, the word ahad mean one off. Yes. Okay. Ahad means one. One off. No. Well, here we Allah, go. Listen, my friend. Ahad means one, but yeah. in Christianity again, you have three different gods. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't, 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 don't move. Don't move. You see, we are. Just... You see, when they lie, even even the stupidity. You, you you Muslims, when you when you hear Muslim talking about us, don't you laugh at yourself? Do really Christian believe in three gods? I mean, why you lie? You know, how 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 long your nose is? My nose is the nose is a growing. The Christian have three gods. The Christians have four gods, five gods. Is it an auction? No, we have one god. No single Christian believe in three gods. Why you are lying? What the... Discussing the verse you gave me. Here we go. As an I example, know. as an example, That's chapter thirty-three, chapter thirty-three, chapter thirty-three. It says, "Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadin min rijalikum." What the translation? Muhammad was not the father of any of the men among you. So the word "ahad" here would mean one of one of. He is not the father of any one of your men. And this is the verse you gave me. You says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allah is one off. Of what? No, ahad means one. Who is ahad? Here we go. I'm showing you. Here we go. This is the word in Arabic. Ahad. Make a sentence for me in the word. I use the word ahad. It have to be one off. And here we go. All those verses in the Quran. Listen. All those verses in the Quran. I'm not making things up. It's in front of you. This is your Quran. Respect your Quran, my friend. Chapter 2, verse number 285, chapter 2, verse 136, chapter 3, verse number 73, chapter 3, verse number 84, chapter 3, verse 153, chapter 4, verse number 43, chapter 4, verse 152, chapter 5, verse number 6, six. chapter 7, mm. verse number 80, chapter 9, number 6, chapter 9, number 84, chapter 9, 127, chapter 11, 58. I can continue until tomorrow. So all of them saying the word Ahad, and Ahad mean one off. So why you Muslims, you lie to yourself, you say Ahad mean wahid. Yeah, Allah is one. Ahad. No, the word no, Ahad is not Wahid. It's a different word. Ah, wahid is one. Ahad, ahad is ahad, one off. Ahad is one. Ahad is one. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. Do Allah, is, do Allah, do Allah have a, do Allah have a, listen, this is Fusha, this is Fusha. Yeah, we are reading Fusha. This is Quran too. I'm showing you Quran. I'm not showing you a magazine. Okay, let me ask you. Okay. It doesn't mean All right. Do Allah have a family? Do Allah have a family? 
Okay, you are, you are repeating, you don't understand what you are saying. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do Allah, my friend, do Allah, have, do, Allah have a, do Allah have a family? Do Allah have a family? No, 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 no. If okay. Allah says Ahad, Ahad means one. Just okay. like when we say La ilaha il Allah, hmm. there is no God except Allah. Hmm. This is the statement that you used to enter Islam. Okay, Christianity. So how you explain to me this to verse? Okay. The how, the how you explain? So that's how you explain to me? My friend, how you explain? How you explain? Listen, listen, listen. Don't talk too much. Listen, we don't. We can't talk to at the same time. How you explain to me? The verse where it says in chapter 21, verse number 17, if Allah want to take a wife or a, or a son, he will take it from us. If Allah is one and there's not many Allah, there's only one Allah. Allah here talking about taking a partner, which is a female, to have sex with her. Oh, Allah is saying he wants to take a life. Allah can take a life. Simple. No, no, this is not about a life. It's talking about taking a partner in bed. It's about... I said to him, Allah will take a wife. He said to me, Allah can take a life. I said to him, Allah will take a woman. He will say to me, he can take life. What's wrong with those people? How oh, Allah, okay, Allah is one. And then Allah, he will take a partner from us. Us who? Listen to the answer now. A life. It's about My friend, life. read the verse. Did you read the as, verse? As, you are not listening. As, as, you are not listening. As, as, Don't force um, me. Don't force me to hang up on you. I am talking to. And they said, why a Christian prince he hang up on Muslim? I mean, you, need, you need a patient. You need a patient of an, an angel maybe to 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 talk to them. He don't even he don't even know what I'm talking about. He did not even read the verse. Did you read the verse? A mature adult or a kid? Read the verse. Did you read the verse, Ayun? <laughs> Just like as in the Quran did you, again. Did you even read the verse? Did you even read the verse I'm talking about? This is not the question. Did you read the verse I'm talking about? The verse in the front of you on the screen. Look in the screen. You go back to saying that Allah, he don't have a son. Look, look what you are talking about. Look what he's talking about. Allah don't have a son. Cool. Stop acting like a kid. Chapter 21, verse number 17, saying, Allah, if you want to take a partner from us, us who? No, 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 no. Allah doesn't need partner. My friend, this is not, it's up to, it's not up to you. The verse in the front of you in the Quran, this is Quran. We intended to take a pastime. Surely could have taken it from us. Hmm. Hmm. So it says us. So Allah will take a partner from us. Who is the us? If Allah is finally he start reading after 20 minutes, trying to get him from his ears to read the verse. And now he start reading. Okay, us. What let us see his comment about us. The wisdom is coming, just wait. There's only one Allah. Hold on, what are you reading from actually? Where are you reading from? Where are you reading? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Christian Prince. Where are you reading from? Where are you reading from? Hello? Supposedly now he got me busted. Like, where are you reading from? He, he woke up now. He, he, two minutes ago, he was under the influence of a drug, hashish. Now suddenly, like, but this verse, this verse is crazy. What is that? Eh? What are you reading from? Hold on, hold on. Well, what you are showing me in the screen is crazy. Is us so Allah will take a partner from us. Who is the us? If Allah there's only one Allah. Hold on, what are you reading from actually? Is this Quran.com? No, this is not Quran. This is like we, we, we found Quran in the Middle East. Like this is a discovered Quran, new Quran. Mickey Mouse Quran. No, 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 no. Go to Quran.com. So you don't accept this Quran? This? You don't accept this Quran? No, because translations uh -huh. could be wrong. So uh, okay, what translation you like to read? No, no, no. I just want to see it in Quran. That come. Hold on, my friend. I'll, no I'll go right now and Google it. What Quran translation that come. you like? What translation you like? Tell me. No, no. Just give me the numbers. I'll read it out loud in front of everybody. No problem. Just give me the translation so we can put it in the screen. What translation you like? What? what? <laughs> 
I don't know what's the number of this Quran actually. What's, Doesn't matter. What's it? He don't know what I'm talking about actually. You see, he don't even know what verse I'm reading. <laughs> You know, Charlie Chaplin, he can do better than you Muslims. At least his, his movie was mute and we laugh. You know, try to mute yourself. I mean, you better not to talk because people are dying laughing at your answers. What you so all this talk now and you don't even know what I'm talking about? Give me the translation you like. Which translation you trust? So I see 17 just tell me the the a tell number. me the translation stop playing games i will put the translation of your choice in the screen what the translation you oh, like sorry. well then i just want to see sahih international you want sahih international thank you here we go finally he said sahih international okay that's fine sahih international here we go this is sahih international read it for us go ahead hold on let me open up the screen hold on hmm. <laughs> okay. We intended to take a diversion. Could have taken it from what was us. Hmm. Okay, so this says if we yeah. the translation he chose it says us too. I think we better change the translation. Here we go. It says with us. Us who? Had intended to take a diversion, we could have taken it from with us. With us. Hmm. Okay. okay. So Allah, He so will I take it from someone He is with <laughs> us. When I say with <laughs> us, that's mean we are many. The second I say us, it's mean we are many. If Allah is one, how many Allah <laughs> there is to call them us? Because in Islam, we have the 99 names of Allah, the 99 names and attributes. So Allah, Allah is going to have sex with mirrors? Akbar. My friend, us, he will take a wife, wife. What do you mean 99 names? He will take a wife, she is a one of his names. Us, us does not stand for more than one God. As okay, Allah says, it says here, if we want to take, if we want to take a woman to have sex with her, a partner, we will take it, it from, from us, us who, us who okay, listen, listen, I want an answer, who is us? Allah is talking about taking a partner. Lahwan is a is the word in Arabic for women. Lahwan. So for fun, women for fun. Allah, he want a girlfriend, not a, not a wife. So Allah, if you want to take, he want to take a girlfriend, he will take it from someone from us. Us who? Uh, so first off, you don't know Arabic. Nisa is the word for woman. Nisa mm. is the word. For so do you speak okay. Arabic? The one you are telling me you do not know Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? Nisa. My is friend, the word used okay in there front of everybody if if i show you that the word lahwan mean women and this is in your islamic interpretation are you willing to apologize and accept that you are a liar you don't know arabic no no, no i'm not a liar there's a surah named after women in the i know Quran, and nisa is different story i know that the word nisa mean women this is lahwan to mean women too Anyways, you know, don't tell, me any, and don't tell me anyway, either apologize for lying or I'm going to show you the proof in front of everybody, showing everybody right. that you lie and this is the word mean women. I'm telling you, Nisa, I don't women. care. Don't... The word lahu, the word lahu <laughs> mean women. Either you say, yes, it mean women and you are right, or you say, challenge you, you are lying, give me the proof and I will make you read it. I'm telling you, in Quran, Nisa means woman. There's a I don't care. After... Here, he did not mention the word Nisa. He mentioned the word Lahwan. Okay. Does Lahwan mean uh, women or not? I know Nisa is what means for women. So, are you saying that Lahwan does not mean women? Nisa is what means woman. This is another question. Any... Does the word <laughs> Lahwan mean women or not? <laughs> Go on Google Translate. Go on Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's what means Arabic. It's what means woman, sorry. Abdul, listen. Said, All right, okay, okay. Yeah. Here we go. This is your Islamic interpretation. After you're done with this, bring up Zechariah 14. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't run, don't run, don't run. So this is your Islamic, this is, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is your Islamic website. You should have seen Rob Christian yesterday when I brought My up that friends, mess. here we go. You've been cooked in two minutes. Don't say, let me see you, but I know we show you here. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Allah, 
apologize for being stupid and lying to me. And this is Tafsir al-Qurtubi in the front of you. I'm not lying. So hold on, you bring out Qurtubi? So what's wrong with Qurtubi? Is that you now? No, no, no. You have to go to Google Translate. My friend said so Al-Qurtubi, he don't understand uh, Arabic. So Al-Qurtubi, uh, he do not understand Arabic, but Google Translate, he understand Arabic. Well, you, uh, no, you, I, you, I, 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 you want, I want you to say, I want you to say that uh, Al-Qurtubi is a stupid. Why would I comment on these people? These people are not the Quran. So again, the so, world. So why you call them scholars? Why you call them scholars? You, if you wanna, you, you yourself, you don't speak Arabic, right? No, no, no. I speak Arabic. No, you don't I'm speak Arabic. You, no, you don't speak Arabic. Uh, speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Uh, speak, to me in Arabic. Uh, speak to me in Arabic. Just as okay. read, read the read the page in the front of us, which is I'm showing you the proof where it says that he is. It says that if you wanna take a wife, uh, and and this is me and a woman in the language of Yemen, where it says that. Read for me, from the screen, in front of you. Start reading from there, as long as you know Arabic. Again, I'm just gonna keep repeating. No, this, no, no, this, no, uh, no, 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 you say you're all a you're gonna speak Arabic. Read for me, the screen in front of you, where it says in the whole screen, no, that the word, the, the, where, where it says in the screen here in front of you, start reading, and I will point my finger at it, where it says that this will mean women. <laughs> I speak Arabic again. Okay, read. Uh, then read, read. Woman. No, 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 stop. You are, you, you are a liar. You are a liar and you get busted. So either you read from me. Then read the seal call to me. I, I want you, Arabic. please, can you please read here? We go read from here. Start from here and read just a few lines. I mean, it's very easy. You speak Arabic. That's very easy. Go ahead. Read for us. Read. And I speak. Speaking is different than knowing how to read and write. So, uh -huh. okay, speak to me in Arabic. What do you mean speak to you in Arabic? Speak to me in Arabic. You said you said you speak. I am an Arab. Speak to me in Arabic. Okay. Inshallah, I forge the nas kulu. Shu hayd al kitab al wahash al Bible yatakul and the nisa. What is that? This is Arabic. I will take patients to Jerusalem to fight captures. Houses ransacked. The woman. Let your dad call me. Okay, let your dad call me. See the, the see the liars. So the Quran says, if Allah wanna take a partner, He will take it from our ourselves. And yet they say to us that Allah is one. How that can be? How Allah will take a woman from ourselves? If there is no kind of Allah, is if He is one of His kind. This is the tafsir. Ajralain. Forget about Al Qurtubi. They don't like Al Qurtubi. Al Qurtubi is now simply Al Qurtubi became a Jew, a Hindu. Tafsir Jalalain, chapter 21, verse number 17, the official government website of the kingdom of the king of Jordan. As you see, it says here the address of the, uh, of the institute. Had we desire to find some diversion, that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves. Hold on. Who ourself? How Allah say ourself? And who is the ourself? Beautiful eyed huris. So you Muslim, when you go to heaven, you are going to sleep with the sisters of Allah, or the daughters of Allah, or the cousins of Allah. Ourself from among who? The beautiful eyed huris. My friend Bumbo, have you ever heard about what happened to this person who they tried to hurt him, my friend? I have to put you, I have to give you time out because you are not listening to us. Or maybe I have to block you. We have a topic, my friend. We have a topic. We heard you. We saw you keep posting things. Let me block you. Sorry for that. Please, guys, if you are just a child who cannot maintain his brain to focus with us in the topic, leave. Stop posting things that have nothing to do with what we are talking about. We heard the Muslim try to hurt the guy. He is my friend too. I spoke to him in the phone. But what does this have to do with my topic? And what is in you? 
like aren't they practicing terrorism all over is it so grow up we, not only Muslims have we, Christians have too what's wrong with you don't you see we have a topic Allah want to take a child or a partner and this what partner is a woman from ourselves right from ourselves how those women can be ourselves if Allah is one any Muslim have an explanation our self who is our self beautiful eyed women but those are a human that's mean Allah is a human and those either his cousins or his sisters or his daughters who are they and if they are his daughters and he wouldn't have sex with them that is a shame if they are his sisters when to have sex with them that is a shame so most likely maybe they are his cousins maybe So they give you a headache about Allah is one, Allah is one, Allah is one, Allah is one, Allah is three, Allah is four, Allah. Who care? Right? Uh, fairy dust, you only cover Muhammad. Okay, hold on. Uh, this person, I don't know. Is, is, are you a Muslim, my friend? The one saying your, your, your address is 9898. Okay. Look what this uh, Muhammad is saying. My friend, I thought you want to answer me about your God is going to have sex with uh, ourself. But look like this is a topic embarrassing, so you might change it. Let us see. Muhammad was a very good man. Hmm. Prove it. Is it a good man who married children and have sex with them? Is it a good man, the one who torture people to take their money? Is it a good man, the one who go to the house of his own son and he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there? he's a good man okay you only cover up bad things about uh, that are not real you never show your viewers the good things of muhammad because you are scared okay show me the good things here we go i'm waiting for your post is that fair guys show me the good things about muhammad i'm waiting i'm waiting show us the good ones we will continue with our topic and we are waiting for your post to show us the good thing about muhammad muhammad have good things like what his wife, she, she got him busted in her bed having sex with the maid. Is that the one? Which one? Muhammad was accused by his followers that he stole a panty. Is that the one? Quran 18.11. Quran 18.11. Okay. Guys, Quran 18.11 show Muhammad is a good guy. Okay, here we go. We will go to Quran 18, 11 and people will, will die laughing. Because Quran 18 is one of the most funniest chapters in the Quran and people will die laughing at what you, you call. I think you are joking, are you? Hmm? This is the good thing about Muhammad. This is not about Muhammad anyway. Why you are choosing this verse? This is about uh, stupidity is amazing. This is about a Christian youth who became a Christian believing in Jesus as God. And they were chased by an army. And this is a fiction story. Muhammad, he took it from a fiction book written by a bishop. He, his name is Yaqub from Syria. Nothing read about the story. You can search for the seven sleepers. Muhammad, he took it. He put it in the Quran, proving to us that he's a fraud. This is the one you are proving to me that Muhammad is a good guy. This is about Christian. This is not, this is not about even about Islam. <laughs> Secondly, how Muhammad he made this story part of his book when this is a fiction story. And as long you are the one who chose this verse, let us laugh a little bit. We will take a break from Allah is one. Hmm?
<clears throat> this is the chapter you choose for us. People will die laughing. Did Jesus die for adorning galaxy or only for the earth? No, my friend, Iron God. Uh, you see, Jesus, he did die only for this earth. You, mean, you are very silly. I mean, I, I don't know. I think your mom, when she gave birth to you, she used to have a diarrhea at that moment. And your question is a kind of a diarrhea. Jesus said, for God loved the world. The world. It doesn't matter what the world. And the world is created by Jesus. So you are silly and stupid. Don't get married. Don't get married. Trust me, your wife, she will cheat on you. Second day. Most likely in this in the wooden night. Diarrhea, man. Look at this. You are the one who chose for us this chapter. And this chapter is the most stupid chapter you know, ever you can imagine. This is a chapter. Look at this. Let us talk together. Allah want to tell us information about the seven sleepers or those sleepers, the people of the cave. Look what he said. Some they say they were three and their dog is number four. Have you ever heard of a someone? Count the dog as number four in which language? If you write in English, you will get zero. If you write in Arabic, you will get zero. If you write in Chinese, you cannot count the dog number four, you idiot. Why? He's a human. So some they say they are three and their dog is number four. And others they say they are five and their dog is number six. And others doubtfully saying, guessing, unknown, unknown. So what you are saying to us? And other yet other they say they were seven and their dog is number eight. Okay, what is the true number? Look at the answer. Say Allah knows best their number. <laughs> Knowledge, knowledge. Now we have the number. That's it. I mean, are you confused? No. Allah, He solved the problem. Allah, He solved it. Some they say this is like a grandmammy speaking to the neighbor. She is in her age. Both of them, they are one hundred ten years old. Sister of Muhammad. Some they say those guys, they are three, and their dog is number four. What do you think? On Fatima, she answered her. She said. <laughs> No, Muhammad. No, my sister. I think they are five and their dog is number six. Oh, Muhammad, she answered back. She said, <coughs> no, I think you are mistaken. I think they are thumb. They say they are seven and their dog is number eight. And then Muhammad walked by. And Muhammad, he gave him the true answer. Allah knows their number. And that's it. Now the problem, finito. Is that the verses you are quoting for us, you idiot? This is what will prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet? So where is the number? Hello? Hello? Allah knows best. Imagine, imagine we have historian, he is writing history. And now he want to tell us the correct number of this story. And then the historian confirmed to us that Allah knows best. This is the true number. Hmm. Uh, iron, iron. Just go. Get out of here. There we have no place for the area, iron. You are silly. <clears throat> Your name is iron, but you are rusty. Too much water over you. Obviously, you live in a very humid area. <laughs> Did Jesus die for the alien? <laughs> you know, my friend, they say in China, he left like a, as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. In your case, you left as rust, you came back as rust. You never been iron. Because you got a nail in somewhere and you feel it. All right. Quote, I am only a man like you. That is the line I wanted to show you. I am only a line, man like you. Guys, guys, Muhammad saying to us, I am only a man like you. you no, know, he's not like us. You see, how Muhammad, he say he is only a man like us, and then you Muslim, you say he is the best of mankind. You just lie then, this Muhammad is a liar. 
So Muhammad, he say he is only a man like us. When they ask him a question, he have no answer for them. He say, I'm just a man. I do not know. I'm like you. <laughs> yeah, the Arab idiot between the idiots. So you are saying to me, you are quoting for me. And by the way, you do not know how to quote the verses. Why you why you said to me, chapter 18, verse number 11. Why you quote? The, this is not the one saying, you know, I am a man like you. What's wrong with you, Muslims? You don't know how to quote anything. Unbelievable. This is the chapter 18, verse number 110. Not 11. See, I am but man like yourself. And look at the verse before it. Prove it to us that Muhammad is an idiot. Read with me. You are the one who chose this chapter, not me. This is your fault. See, if the ocean were ink, huh? The word of my Lord sooner would uh, 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 would the ocean be exhausted, and with the word of my Lord, even if we added another ocean like it for. I mean, this is the most stupid translation ever. What is that? Hold on, let us let us change translation, translator. What do we, blah, blah, blah. That's, that, the verse is very simple. If if Allah words the word of Allah, the ocean will finish. If the ocean was ink, the ocean will be finished before Allah. Words is finished, but but this is contradiction for the Quran. Aren't you Muslim? You say that the Quran is the last message of Allah. But based on this verse, Allah keep talking. The ocean, the ocean. Now we will turn the ocean into ink, and the ink, the ocean. If the ocean is ink, the ocean will finish, and Allah is not done yet. This is what the verse is saying. How this is can be true? That means the Quran is a lie. That means Allah is still talking. And he's still making books. Talking to who? Talking to himself. Hello. Ha ha, you changed the translation because you saw that Muhammad was a say the truth. No, I will go back to the original translation, guys. I changed the translation because Muhammad in that translation is better. Here we go. <laughs> it's the same, you idiot. <laughs> Here we go. This is the translation, the old translation. Where Muhammad is good, he is saying, I am just like you. Which means I know nothing. I have no idea. Don't ask me questions. I'm just a man like you. But Muhammad is not like of any of us. Isn't it the Quran says that the Anbiya is not the same as others? Are they? Huh? How you say he is the same? Aren't you Muslim you say that the wives of Muhammad, nobody can marry them because he's a prophet? Aren't you Muslim you say that Muhammad have 16 privileged, half of them actually, uh, 9 or 11 of them is about sex and money. So how he is like us? He's like us only when it's come to knowledge? So you gave me a verse saying uh, Muhammad is like us. So he's not a prophet. Everybody is like, I thought he's a prophet. But now you're saying, no, he's the prophet. And the proof is the verse before it. Muhammad claimed that the word of Allah will never be finished. So how the Quran is over? Allah is talking. Where is, where is, the, where is the Quran? We should have every day another Quran. How this can be true verse? Is Muhammad here exaggerating? What do you think? Is Muhammad here exaggerating? He's making things up? Because obviously he's not, he is. If Allah words, the ocean will not be enough for it, that means the Quran is a fabrication. Because we can print the whole Quran, a little tiny cup of coffee, like if you use the Greek coffee, Greek coffee. Do you see how small? Let me, let me show you how small the cup of a Greek coffee. Let me show you, just to explain to you. That this is this is obviously a fraud. Muhammad is a fraud.
All right. My friend, this is a Greek coffee cup. Look how small it is. I can print the whole Quran with ink equal to that cup, actually less. So how Allah in the Quran, he claimed that if the ocean was ink, the ink of the ocean will finish before the word of Allah are finished. Do you have explanation? You insult Muhammad, don't insult a ridiculous Christian, quote Levitic. Here we go, change the topic. Why you change the topic? You are the one who quote for us the verse. I'm not insulting anyone. Did I insult anyone? I did not. How Muhammad he said the word of Allah, if the ocean was ink, the ocean will be finished before the word of Allah are finished. Explain to us. So you quote for us verses, but you don't want to talk about them now? And by the way, if you don't like the verse you are quoting for me, what if I show you that Muhammad, he said the same, you idiot? Huh? What if I show you the same in the hadith? Are you making fun of your prophet now? If I show you the same exactly, your prophet saying the same, what do you do? What? Hello? Stupid. You Muslim, you, you know, you go, you know, okay, did we quote for you from the Old Testament? And you know, you forgot that your prophet was a potato. He steal a lot of things from the Jews. So now I challenge you. If I show you the same your prophet saying, are you going to laugh at your prophet? Yes or no? What? Because Allah is a transferring so fast Allah transferring so fast <laughs> somebody take him away from here <laughs> the answer Allah <laughs> transferring so fast <laughs> unbelievable mean I turn my head up and down I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. I know what I can see. A bunch of chicken around me. They say bark bark. You say walk walk. And they think they are a bunch of duck. But all what I see, a bunch of a chicken around me. No ducks. We're transferring Allah. Quran says that uh, the Quran is finished. Today I completed your religion for you. Choosing Islam as a religion for you. This is in the in the, in the in the beginning of the Quran. So how Allah he says if the ocean was ink. This is chapter five verse number three. Allah says supposedly today I completed my favor upon you, chosen Islam for you as a religion. Perfected this day. Read it. Read it. Read it. This day have I perfected your religion for you completed my favor upon you and have a chosen Islam for you as religion so it's completed so why Allah his word is like ink of an ocean and never be finished so why he is saying it's completed huh Allah what Allah word cannot be heard ah, Allah word cannot be heard uh -huh. wisdom wisdom so Allah is talking to who? Guys, Allah's word cannot be heard. <laughs> uh, I'm going to speak to you in silence, mute. And nobody will hear me except the wood. I will speak to the prophet, including the wood. And he will not hear me, because he is not a wood. My name is Allah. I sound so crazy. My word cannot be heard, because I'm so lazy. To use my tongue, so I can be heard. 
And that is so amazing miracle. Take it easy. Ah, stupidity. Takbir Allahu Akbar. Takbir Allahu Akbar. Copy paste nation. Take a beer. Yeah, it's a metaphorical, yeah. And the verse, everything is metaphorical in Islam, brother. Everything in Islam is metaphorical. Is beating women in Islam metaphorical? Yes, brother, it's a metaphorical beating women. Okay, having sex with women, metaphorical too. A diversion, a metaphorical. Okay. I'm killing the Christians and the Jews, metaphorical. Uh-huh, okay. Muhammad, he have sex with a slave, metaphorical. Um, okay, Muhammad, he ate poison, metaphorical. Uh, the goat ate the Quran, metaphorical. Hmm. My friend, is it metaphorical or meta and for all lies? Like you have like a meta, work for all lies. It's like the seed, Muhammad, he claimed that this is the seed can solve all diseases, including Corona. Do you remember that, brother? Is this metaphorical? Yes, brother. Dr. Muhammad, he found Corona medication. The Negla seed is remedy for every disease except death. Since when death is disease, you... <laughs> That's it. We found a solution for anything. Okay, do you have kidney problem? The seed. Do you have diabetes? Take the seed. Do you have AIDS? Take the seed. Do you have high blood pressure? Take the seed. Is your tooth is hurting you? Take the seed. You have heart attack? Take the seed. You have a blood pressure? Take the seed. You are almost dying? Take the seed. Your wife is causing you a problem? Take the seed. Your mother-in-law, she is a crazy, you want to get rid of her? Give her that seed and she will die. <laughs> Dr. Muhammad, you don't lie. This is true. Brother, scientists, scientists, brother, scientists discover that. <clears throat> hmm. There is a video made by Muhammadan. Do you remember the hadith about uh, guys? Why we have only six hundred nineteen? Is that because the time is wrong? I always come in wrong time. It's my fault. You see, I'm going to start taking this nigla seed so I can find the right time. Like, are you a person who don't find the right time? Take this seed. You want to get married, you are not finding the girl you like to marry, get the seed. Your car have a problem, give her those seeds. You have cancer, take that seed. You got corona, get that seed. Commercial break. Negla seed is the best and forget about the rest. It's described by Dr. Professor Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the one who told him this recipe is Allah himself. Hmm. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. So beautiful. Actually, you know what? I, I feel like I want to convert to Islam after I heard about the seed issue. From now on, anyone who attend our program, we will give you one of those seeds. You will enter our program, 70 years old, you leave the program, you are 16 again. Are you Asian? Take the seed. Do you have a gray hair? Take the seed. Are you losing your teeth? Take the seed. Are you suffering from bad memory? Take the seed. Are you unable to do <clears throat> in the bedroom? Take the seed. Is your wife, she are not giving you babies? Give her the seed. I mean, that's it. We, we found it, Dr. Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, peace upon him. That's it, it's there. So going back to our topic, 
Christians, did you learn how to refute those Muhammadan when they speak about Allah is one? Did you learn? The Muslim, they think when they say that Allah is one, they have a victory already by Allah is one. Who care? If Allah is one or two or three, the truth is, is he a true God or not? Allah is one, but he do not know how he created the earth and the heaven, how the baby is created. Allah don't even remember which one he created first, the stars or the grass and the trees and the mountains. Allah is one, but he's a, one of his kind, of his stupidity. So speaking about Allah is one or two, who care? Let us say for sake of argument, there is a guy, he is, a, I don't want to say Hindu, let us say he is, a, from religion it's called Dula Bula. Hmm? Lula Bula. Let me, let me type the name of the religion for you. This is a new religion. Prophet, I will use a name nobody used ever before. New name. So nobody will think that I'm taking it uh, against somebody. No way. I will, I will name the prophet of the religion of code. First of all, let us type the name of the religion. Lula Bula. Ah, this is the new religion. Okay. The prophet of this new religion, his name is, I will use a name nobody heard of it before. Muhammad Lula Bula. Okay, see, we are not we are not talking about Muhammad now. There's no way. That's it. So we choose a name. I have nothing to do with Islam. So Prophet Muhammad Dula Bula, he come with religion. It's called Dula Bula. And this Lula Bula have 400 gods. 400 gods. Yeah, I choose 400. I got the, the, the dollar sign. 400 god brother okay what the name of the god bula mula the, the names of their god like it's a corporation so we have 400 400 bura bula mula god okay let us put the word god next to it between two bracket okay so now we have 400 bula mula god okay Muhammad Bula Mula Lula, he said that the 400 Bula Mula God, they created the universe. They created everything. Okay. And what is the proof? The, the, the Muhammad Bula Bula said, like, come on, it's, it's obvious, it's clear. The proof is there. Muhammad Lula Bula, he said that Lula Bula God created the universe. We get the proof. It's very simple. Okay, so now it's so clear, and I invite you now to believe in the God Bula Bula Lula Mula and Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula. This is what the Muslim says to us. What is the proof that Allah is God? Allah is the creator. He is the Lula Bula Mula. Who said that? Muhammad Lula Bula. What? Huh? That's the, what the Muslim logic is. So, if they're 400 or 100, that will not change anything because they prove nothing to us. Secondly, if somebody believe in 10 gods and they are true God, that means they are there is 10 gods. If somebody believe in 5 gods, that means there is, if he believe in them and he can prove that they are the one who created everything, that means they are 5. But you are the same as the one who have 5 and the one have 400 and the one have 0 gods because you have no proof. All what you have, that you have one Bula Mula, and a prophet, his name, Muhammad Lula Bula. And we ask you, who is Allah? You say he is the Lula Bula crea the, 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 the creator. But you have uh, no reason. You have no proof. And how Lula Bula God, you do not know how the baby is created. Have you ever heard of a God? He think that the baby created from dead blood? Dead blood, man. I mean, come on. The sperm became dead blood. Like what happened? He get injured, Mr. Sperm. How Mary can be a brat with no father? Ask your God. Your God, Mula Bula, he agree with that. <laughs> you see, how can the, how can, well, here we go, it's in your Quran. Secondly, a second ago you claimed to be a Muslim, now you don't want to be a Muslim. Secondly, we Christian, we believe in miracles. And the question is why Jesus don't have God, don't have don't have a father in the Quran. What's the point of this? So before you ask me, can that be true? Yes, it can be. 
for God is Almighty. That's why we call Him Almighty. Now, for us, Christianity does not stop with Jesus is born of a virgin. Christ, He made the dead alive. Christ, He made the blind see. Christ, He healed the leper. Christ, He made the one who cannot walk walk. And all of this is registered in the Quran. So, if you are denying what Jesus can do, and who is Jesus, then you are denying the Quran and will come out of Islam. Right? Uh, I think now you are you are angry and you are trying to insult. Uh, maybe she had relationship with the guy next door, lied to Christians. Christians have four gods, including Mary. Uh, okay. Well, I have one answer for you. Get lost. We Christian, we have one God, and the Catholic don't worship Mary. And you are son of Muda. You see, I respect you as long you are speaking as adult. The second you start saying stupid stuff, you are angry, angry, I understand. If you are angry, take a cold shower, let your wife, you know, spank you, as usual, or your mother-in-law. But don't come here and, and drop your garbage on us. When you say something, you say Jesus is the son of women, she slept with the neighbor, that's mean you just left Islam, thank you very much. As simple as that, because the Quran says, Mary, she was a virgin. I'm happy for you that you left Islam. And you insulted Muhammad, and you just admitted Muhammad is a liar. Anyway, we go back to Prophet Muhammad Lulabula. So Muhammad Lulabula, he claimed that Allah is the one who created everything. Okay, prove him wrong. Muhammad Lulabula, he received a book, it's called, you see, we will not use the word Quran, so Muslim, they will not be offended. We will use a different word. Have nothing to do with the Quran. We would call it Kora Bula. All right? So, Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula, he received a book from his God, it's called Kora Bula. And Kora Bula prove that Muhammad is a prophet. Now, who witnessed that Muhammad he received Kora Bula? Kura Bula? Nobody. The only one was there is Muhammad Lula Bula, and he received Quran Bula. From who? From the God of Bula Mula. No witnesses. Muhammad, he never have a witness. He went to the seven heaven in the top of a flying donkey. He came back. Even his wife did not see the donkey. I mean, at least let the donkey appear to her. I mean, can't Allah make her see this donkey? The flying mule. Even this one, he could, like, let him make a noise. That, mm, huh, huh? Even that, he did not do it. So, Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula, he received a book, it's called Kura Bula, from his God Bula Mula. And there was no witnesses. And Quran Bula says that Muhammad Bula Bula Luna is a prophet and his God is Bula Mula and he is the one who created all the Lula Lula. Lula. It's obvious, it's, it's clear. That's it, I'm convinced Islam has come from God. I mean, why you guys are not getting it? Aren't you getting it yet? The Muslims don't have 400 Bula Bula. They have only one, one Bula Bula. And they call him Allah. And Lula Bula, Prophet, which means the God of uh, Muhammad, Lula Bula, he sent the Prophet Muhammad, Lula Bula. And this Prophet Muhammad, Lula Bula, he received a book, it's called Kura Bula. No witnesses for anything. Muhammad was sitting, or hold on, I cannot say Muhammad, sorry, because the Muslim will be offended, we have to use a different name. Muhammad Lula Bula was in the cave. See, Muslim, I'm not talking about your prophet now, I'm talking about this about this prophet. He was in the cave, and suddenly, an angel, what the name of the angel? We cannot use the same name now, because the Muslim can't offend it, so we have to use a different name, hold on. The angel, his name was, I'm not going to use the same name, because I don't want to offend the Muslim. Jibrilula. Jibrilula. Okay. What is the B? What happened? The cat ate it. Uh, okay. Jibrilula. Bula. So this is the name of the angel. His name is Jibrilula Bula. He came to the prophet Muhammad Lula Bula. 
and he squeezed the Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula and he told him read. But the Prophet did not know how to read. Jibril Lula Bula, he said to Muhammad Lula Bula, you better read. Muhammad Lula Bula, he said to him, are you stupid or what? I just told you I can't read. Then Jibril Lula Bula, he lost his post, his patient. So he started squeezing Muhammad Lula Bula. And this is very normal, brother, by the way. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of uh, 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 of this uh, 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 angel. Uh, uh, his name is Jibra, Jibra Lula Bula. And you have a guy you are trying to say to him, read, and he don't want to read. So what do you do? You squeeze him. I always do that. I squeeze many people. All right? I, I squeeze uh, to get my unase. So, brother, it's very simple. I mean, why people are not listening, brother? Shouldn't we learn from the Prophet uh, Muhammad uh, Lula? Bula? We should. Honestly, we should. Anyone is not uh, learning? It's, obvious, it's a clear like sun. So anyway, uh, uh, Zibril, Zibra Lula Lula Bula, this guy, he told Muhammad Dula Bula to read. Muhammad Dula Bula cannot read. Jibril Dula Bula, he lost his patient. He lost his patient, so he squeezed uh, Muhammad Dula Bula. Muhammad Dula Bula, he hardly can breathe. Uh, uh, you know, and, and then Jibril Lula, he says to him, read, Lula, eat it, read. What's wrong with you? And he did that to him three times. And the, the Muhammad Dula Bula, he said to him, I cannot read, I cannot read. And then Jibril Dula Bula, he says to him, you have to read. I come in from the seven galaxies. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of Jibra Lula Bula. And then you come to an idiot. He don't want to read the order of the angel of Allah Bula Lula. I mean, remember, this is the Jibril Lula Bula. He was sent by the real God, Lula, uh, the, the first Bula Lula Bula, Bula. The Bula Mula God. So the Bula Mula God, he sent Jibra Bula Lula. And then he told Muhammad Lula Bula, to read the Quran Bula, and then Muhammad Lula Bula is not reading the Quran of Jibril Lula. This is really crazy. And I'm, I'm really upset now. I don't know how this uh, angel, he was able to, uh, to handle the situation. All of this is a proof that Muhammad is a prophet. Obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious, isn't it? This is the one God story. One God story, one man story, one Muhammad story. Who was in the cave? Nobody. Uh, the angel, he came to the house of Muhammad. What his name? Jibra Lula Bula. And he told his wife, I see him in the corner, which means his wife, she cannot see it. Okay, what is the name of the wife? What is the name of the wife? I don't, wanna, I don't want the Muslim to think I'm talking about Muhammad. No way. We cannot talk about Muhammad. You know, they, they, they will threat you. We have to change the name. Uh, we have to be. We have to be here, brother. So, uh, a woman. Her name. Khadija Lula Mula. See, we are not talking about Muhammad wife. Here we go. This is a different name, as you see. This is a. This is different. Obviously, different name. It's. It's clear, right? I mean, it's. Uh, it's obvious. Uh, Khadija. What is that? Uh, Khadija. What is that? Khahila. Khadija, Khadija, this guy he don't even know Arabic, he don't know English. Unbelievable. Okay, Khadija Mula Bula. So Khadija Mula Bula, she was in the room. Prophet Muhammad Dula Bula. He saw an angel in the corner, but he is not sure that this is an angel. So Muhammad Lula Bula, he told Khadija Lula Bula, my wife, I see someone in the corner. Okay, we're in the corner. Focus with me, please, focus with me. So this is Muhammad. Sitting here, brother. 
And this is Khadija, she is sitting next to him, brother. She have a long hair, Khadija Lula Mula, you know. So and she is like here, you know, sitting here. And she is tall, not like Muhammad. So, and here in the corner, brother, there's an angel, brother. This is the angel Jibril. It's big, it's very huge. Actually, you can tell from the drawing, he looked like an angel. If you know the 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 proof is uh, look at the size of his feet, you know, very big. So anyway, so Muhammad, he saw the angel in the corner of the room. He told his wife, "I see someone in the corner here. I see him in the corner." Khadija, she look. Khadija Mula Bula, she look. She don't see him. Huh? Only Muhammad can see him. So Khadija Mula Bula, she said to Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula. Well, uh, I see him, but you know what? Uh, I don't see him like you, but if you want, when you see him again, tell me, and I will help you. So what happened? What happened? The angel come again, and he sit in the same corner. He liked this corner. So Prophet Muhammad Dula Bula, he saw the angel again. What an amazing story, brother. He saw him in the same corner. Now Muhammad Bula Bula, he told his wife Khadija Lula Bula, I see him now. So Khadija Lula Bula, he says to him, okay, bra brother, my cousin, I want you now to sit in the top of my right leg. Prophet Muhammad, he sat in the top of her leg. Hey, hold on, this, this is need more explanation. We cannot just do it like this, I mean, plain. People will not understand, we have to show them reference. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh boy. We are trying to find Khadija legs, but the where is the legs? Okay, brother. This is brother Khadija, but the beautiful version of it, not the real Khadija brother and by the way I changed the Muslim to say I'm lying so when the prophet Lula Bula he told his wife Khadija Lula Bula that he's seen an angel his wife she told him sit in the top of my thigh where in the top of my thigh so prophet Lula Bula Muhammad Ula he said here and then his wife she asked him do you see him Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula, he said, yes. The wife, she said to him, okay, Muhammad Bula Lula, move to the other leg, sit here. Prophet Muhammad Bula Bula, he moved as his wife, she ordered him because she is the boss. She is the rich woman, Khadija brother, Khadija Lula Bula. So Prophet Muhammad, he sat here in the other leg. And then Khadija Lula Bula, she asked Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula, do you still see him? He said, uh, uh, yeah, yes. Now, Prophet Muhammad been ordered by Khadija Lula Mula to sit in the top of her and she took off her clothes. And then she said to him, do you see him? Prophet Muhammad Lula Mula, after he sat in the top of her in her lap, here, brother, where? Here, brother, let us make it different color so you can see the exact location. Prophet Muhammad now, he sat in her lap. Here, in the top of her brother. And Khadija, she took off her clothes. And now Khadija Mula Bula, she asked Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula Bula, do you see him? Muhammad Mula Bula, he said, no, I don't see him. Khadija Lula Bula, she said, praise be to Allah, this is an angel. I challenge any Muslim to say I am lying. And this is not a true story. Any Muslim there to say I'm lying? It doesn't say that CP. This is your religion. We can go right now to Google and we search for Khadija wa imtih, umtihanul wahi. Khadija what? Umtihanul wahi. Let me do it for you. 
Life on the screen. <laughs> what does that mean, Khadija? I'm the one who Khadija and the examination of the inspiration of Allah. If, 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 if. This is how the Prophet, his inspiration was examined, brother, by women's legs. That's a lot of uh, uh, truth. Hmm. Let us show the reference. Oh boy. You know, we want to show official Islamic website. So Muslim will not say we are making things up. <clears throat> you know when you say those stories it's hard to believe right I mean it's really hard to believe that such an idiot can be even considered for a second to be a prophet but what you can do those Muslims poor, poor Muslims they are you know they don't know what their religion is they are born in this madness Uh, but the hadith in front of me, but I'm trying to find a very official website so the Muslim will not say, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, we don't agree with this. We found the website, have an image of the book, but we click on it, it doesn't open. All right, let us see. <clears throat> All right. This is the book of Fathul Bari. Kitab al-Tafsir, Iqra' bismi rabbika. And this is the page number, 111. Exactly the story, for anyone who speaks Arabic, he can see it. Khadija, she said to him, he said, he said to her, uh, I see someone in the corner of the room. Khadija, she said, okay, my cousin, when you see him next time, let me know. So he told her, okay, Khadija, Hada Jibreel, I see him. I see him. Khadija, she said to him, and let me highlight. He said, this is Jibreel, I see him. She said, stand up and sit over my thigh, the left one. He sat, he sat in her thigh. And then she said, do you see him? He said, yes, I see him. She said, move, move to the other thigh. So he moved to the other thigh. ثم قالت فتحول فجلس في حجري and then come each time he goes sit in a place she say him do you see him he see him she said okay sit now in the top of my lap and then she took off her clothes and he is sitting in the top of her and then she said هل ترى do you see him he said no I don't she said stand fast Prophet of Allah, be strong. I swear by Allah, he is an angel, not a shaitan. <laughs> and now for sure, the Muslim, they will say, oh, we don't accept this story and blah, 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 blah. 
The legs of Khadija was the only proof for Muhammad that he is seen an angel. And if you ask the Muslims why the angel he was, uh, why he left after he after Khadija she she took off her clothes, they say the angel is shy. He's shy, brother. He is not going to stay there while Khadija taking off her clothes. If he's a shaitan, he will stay. Can you believe such a garbage? Uh, let us take this picture away. Otherwise, that will bring more Muslims here. You know the, my problem now? What if I saw an angel who is going, I don't have a wife, where I will sit? I really have a problem. What if an angel Jibreel, he come to me and I want to see if he's an angel or shaitan? And I don't have a wife, I don't have a girlfriend, nobody here. What I will do? What I will say? I mean, hello? Do you see why it's very important, brother, to have a wife, brother? Do you understand now the situation? Do you see how I am really in a very bad trouble? Nazan, he is saying Dawlat al-Islam, he is, he is saying ISIS, you know, he's praising the, the state of Islam. My friend, what the state of Islam? You can't even have your Sharia alone in your country. Just show us what you can do, Dawlat al-Islam. Yeah, 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 Abu Fussa, yeah, Abu Hussa. Shino Dawlat al-Islam, Shino Dawlat al-Hammam, Shino Dawlat al-Kharfan, you will rahat of Rata. Rahat of Rata. قال له يا حمدان للبسوك ما ترطم من وجهك قال له يم الخناقه يا ولد باك وين الخناقه جيب الخناقه اجيب لك الناقه دولة الاسلام ها شعب اهبل سو جايز وات اي ويل دو ناو هاو اي كان فايند if the angel who come to me is an angel or shaitan, I see him in the corner right now. I'm looking at the corner. Right now I see him. And he is putting his tongue out for me. Jibreel, why you are doing that? Why your tongue is out? Oh, this is not his tongue. He have uh Ah, uh, he is... Uh, uh, okay, this is a young angel. He is uh, suckling, breastfeeding for a nipple. I see nipple there. Ah, ah. He is following the advice of a prophet Muhammad to do breastfeeding for adult. I don't know where he got this nipples. I see a nipple in his mouth. I thought it's a tongue, but it's not a tongue. It's a nipple. Praise be to Allah. The only prophet in the world who ordered women to give their nipples to stranger, uh, prophet Muhammad. Very conservative, very conservative, very open-minded. You cannot shake hands with them. But you can suckle their nipples. Praise be to Allah, nipples. You know what? I was thinking to change the name of Prophet Muhammad to call him the Nepal Prophet. Because he is like really Nepali. The Prophet who? The, uh, this guy is a revolution. The, the woman, she is afraid that her husband is jealous because they have a man in the house. The Prophet, he advised her for a perfect solution. Give him your nipples. And then the jealousy will go. Amazing. I mean, who can who can come with such a solution like this? Nobody. Genius. We we have to admit. Only Prophet Muhammad can come with such a solution. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you longer here. <clears throat> I hope you have a good time. Don't forget to download the, the video uh, about Lula uh, Bula uh, Mula, Prophet. See, you see, we use different name, so nobody will be offended. Because if you say Prophet Muhammad, they get offended. Anything you say, they get offended. So now we have a new name, Muhammad Lula Bula. There is no way any Muslim can be upset now. 
what is the name of the prophet let me hold on let me put it in the screen for you so you uh, people will not forget the new name so muslim will not be offended and uh, we are safe and saksur yeah uh, saksur yeah this is what they say in arabic in uh, english uh, saksur okay uh <clears throat> prophet Here we go. This is have nothing to do with the, the Muslim prophet. This is a, we are talking about different religion now. It's obvious, you know. So they cannot complain and they cannot say uh, this guy is uh, insulting, uh, you know. Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula. What the name of this God? What the name of his God? Allah. Mula Bula. Uh, it's not showing, right? Muhammad Mula Bula. Let me make it uh, uh, bigger for you so you can see uh, Allah Mula Bula. Alhamdulillah. So Prophet Muhammad Mula Bula. He have a God, his name Allah Mula Bula, and uh, uh, Muhammad Mula Bula is the only one who discovered that he's a prophet by the legs of his wife. Her name is Khadija Mula Bula. And this is a very authentic story, and this is true. And by the way, in the old days, this is how prophet, they prove that they are prophet by the legs of their wives. And now I understand why in America, there is night club, they call them Starbertis. Uh, no, no, they can't do it. They can't tell them. What, what, your, your English is funny. It's, what is Starbatis? Hold on. They call them uh, Starbatis or Nabula. Um, a prophet Muhammad Dulabula, he is the only one prophet who been squeezed by angel. His name is Jibreel Ulabula. And uh, this is true. It's okay. Very clear, uh, Dula. And this is how... Uh, how Islam work with that? Uh, let us see how many of you will convert to Prophet Muhammad Lula Bula and his God Allah Mula Bula. What do you mean stay CP? Well, you guys, you want me to stay here? I mean, come on. Don't you have enough of me? Don't you, don't you have enough headache with Muhammad Lula Bula and uh, Allah the, the Bula? So simply, this is the religion they try to fool you to convert with. There's a guy who never saw anyone. Nobody saw him. He go to the sky. He go to down to earth. Nobody seen. There's no witnesses. You have no miracle. You have nothing. You know, an angel he come to me and he squeezed me and his my wife. She said, and he told him, he set me in her legs and he sat in her legs. They said, did you see him? I didn't see him. And then and then she told me, this is for sure is an angel because if it's an angel, he will be happy to see my breast. And this is the story of Muhammad Ulabula. And Muhammad Ulabula is the only one who discovered that the two salty water and, and uh, fresh water you don't mix. Who is the stupid who said to you didn't mix? Who is the donkey he said to you that salty water and fresh water don't mix? Hello, they do mix, my friend. <laughs> if you don't believe me, go to the kitchen right now. <laughs> Get a cup of salty water and a cup of, salt, of uh, fresh water. Put them together. Let us see if they mix or not. They mix. And here a prophet, he thought that Allah, he put a barrier which is a stone between the salty water and the fresh water. She so don't mix. He don't know that all the fresh water we have is coming from the ocean, the idiot. All right, brothers and sisters, all the followers of a prophet Muhammad Dula Bula and Allah Ula Mula Lula. Today, we learned about the great prophet Muhammad Ula Bula and his book, Quran, Quran Ula Bula. Amazing book, full of knowledge, science discovery, history discovery, even the names he cannot quote them correctly. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He cannot even quote one name correctly. Unbelievable. Anta saqsaziya, Allah yiz'alak mantiki. إنها كذبة إن زير كبرس لا علاقة لها بالإسلام ذهب النبي إلى كبرس أنت كذاب نزان I did not talk about uh, Cyprus you idiot 
Your prophet, he went to Cyprus? Your prophet went to Cyprus? Okay, as long as you mention this about Cyprus, let me show you what your prophet he found. Your prophet, a guy, he came to him and he said he went to an island and he found a woman, her name is a Jassasa and she is a beast. <laughs> Do you want me to show it to you? Unbelievable. Why you do that to yourself? Why? Why you do that to yourself? You just brought another another garbage uh, about your prophet. Here we go. Me. Prophet Muhammad, the expert with islands. Ta -da 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 Da -da 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 Prophet Muhammad, he knew everything. Prophet Muhammad, he knew what is inside the sea, behind the sea, inside the sea. Do you see? Allah Messenger said one day in the pulpit when uh, some people were sailing to the sea, their food was finished, an island appeared to them. They went out seeking bread, bread in the island, and they met with the woman, her name just Sasa, the Antichrist spy. <laughs> Unbelievable. So this is a woman, her name is just Sasa, and she is a spy KGB for the Antichrist. Are you there, uh, the, the, the guy from ISIS? Are you there? Read, read with me, read, read. Let us laugh. Hmm? You have no idea you are talking to who? You have no idea. You have no idea. This is in you. Because you have to give me a reason to talk about things I know. You know, you have to, like you see, here we have a big box full of information. You guys, you have to get like a screwdriver, like play with it. like So the, so the information will come so we can talk about something new. The guy, the guy, he just calls me. He told me the prophet, he went to Cyprus. And now we have to tell him about Cyprus, what happened in Cyprus. <laughs> I said, Abu Salma, what is the Shazasasa? He replied, a woman. A woman trailing her hair of her, her, hair of her skin. If, 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 if. And her head, she said. It is, is this a, a castle? He then narrated the rest uh, hadith number 400 should we go to 4311 because there you will die laughing too oh boy oh boy ah, let us go and see more stories hold on hold on well we, we, we just started <whistles> look at this story true story true story um, huh. this is sahih Muslim, they cannot say it's is uh, uh, fake, you know. Uh, this is a very long story here to, to read, you know, for you. But let us read where it's, it speaks about a Jassasa. So they went to the island, brother, and they said to her, Who are you? Who are you? Huh? She said, I am Al Jassasa. They said, What is Al Jassasa? And it said, Oh, people, go to this person in the monastery as every much eager to know about you. He, the narrator, said, when it named the person for us, we were afraid of it, lest it should be the devil. Then we hardly went until we came to the monastery and we found the well-built person there is his hand tied to his neck and having iron shackles between his legs up to his ankle. If, 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 true story. We said, we be upon thee. Who are you? He said, you should soon come to know about me. But tell me, who are you? What, what? We said we are people from Arabia and we embark upon a boat in the sea wave had been driving us one month and they brought us this near island. 
we got into the side of the boat and entered this island and here a beast meet us and prophecy thick hair and because of her, the thick thickness of her hair his hair his face could not be distinguished true story we said we be upon thee ah uh, now from now we don't say muhammad bula bula peace upon him we say we, muhammad bula bula we be a be, uh, to thee who are you i said i am al jassasa we said what is a jassasa said go to this person so they are telling him what the, the other women she told them the other beast i mean you can read the story i mean it's a it's a it's a hilarious story you will die laughing this is the link. Let me give you the link. You guys, you can read it in your own time. For those who like to learn. This is what Islam is about, my friend. It's just a stupid fairy tale stories. Garbage in, garbage out. All right? Uh, anyway. Uh, thank you, wonderful. You changed my name now? Because this guy is calling me uh, wonderful. Here we go. The Muslim, they will say, you change the name of Christian Prince and you call him wonderful. Uh, you are saying now he is, uh, what, he's a uh, God now, worship me? Don't say wonderful. The Muslim, they understand it in their own way. You remember, we have three gods. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, the troll kid, my friend, is your prophet, the one who say all this stupid stuff yeah <clears throat> anyway i think we have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of knowledge from prophet muhammad to learn and nobody is like him are you going to repeat the same uh, nazan just go man you see i give you time to say but you repeat the same it, it, obviously you don't speak arabic it's so clear you are using google translation i mean at least go learn arabic man i mean having difficulty even to read what you are saying to me Stop using Google Translation. Even your name is Nazan. What Nazan? And you Muslim, you have really crazy names. By the way, the Prophet Muhammad, he called Aisha Al-Humayra. Al-Humayra? Why? She was a, a donkey? No, brother. Humayra does not mean donkey from the word Hamar, it means the red one. Uh -huh. She was red. Aisha, she was red head. Are you sure, brother? <clears throat> Look, Muhammad, he called Aisha, Ya Humayra. Ya Humayra. Aisha, she was red head. Ah, now I know why he like her very much. She was the only blonde in town. She was redhead. What a racist man. KKK. Ah, racist, racist. He called her the red one. Well, Humayr, you see, uh, in Arabic, we, when we, there's a way to, like, if you want to insult somebody, so, you, like, you, you spoil his name. So, let's say, like in english you say like a dog doggy you know uh, it's something like this like in uh, you spoil the word to make it so humayra uh, according to muslim it's mean the one with red head she's a blonde you know and here i i wonder how Aisha she turned to be blonde that's uh, something fishy for me uh, the father is not a blonde the mother is not a blonde the grandfather is not a blonde. The grandmother is not a blonde. The daughter is a blonde. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a hadith actually about a guy. He his wife she gave birth to a, a child who was black. He went to Muhammad. He told him, "Well, I'm not black. My wife is black. None of my family is black. None of her family is black. How the child is black? The Prophet he says, Naza'ahu arq. He inherited it." <coughs> Is it obvious the guy, the woman she is sleeping with, with the with somebody who worked for them from from maybe the slaves? 
Huh? If the guy, none, none of his family is black, and none of her family is black. So how the child will be black? Read the hadith. Just to show you, we are not making things up. It's obviously the women she is sleeping around. My wife has given birth to a black boy. The Messenger of Allah says, do you have camel? He said, yes. He said, what the color are they? He said, red. He said, are they any gray between them? He said, uh, yeah, <laughs> there is some gray. <laughs> so he said to him, well, perhaps <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> they are Arab, they are not black. They are Arab. Let me show you the other story here, like that, more details of the story. <clears throat> hmm. See, all those hadiths. Uh, here we go. See? Read, none of my family is a black. No, no, nobody. It says it clearly. A man from the desert people came to the Prophet and he said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, my wife have given birth to a man, uh, in, uh, uh, on my bed to a black boy. And there is no black uh, people among my family. <laughs> genius, Muhammad. The genius Prophet. So my friend, if you are redhead like Aisha and you are white man like Muhammad and then your son is black, obviously your wife is not cheating. <laughs> Unbelievable! Wisdom of the Prophet, he knew everything. That's it. He knew everything. Yeah. It can happen, you know. It's it it's normal that if you are if you are Asian, and your wife is Asian, and all your family are Asian, and all the people are Asian, then you have a blonde son. It's obvious. It's not. There is no cheating there. Hello. Oh, come on. Your wife. She wasn't playing being monk in your back. No. She was doing uh, yoga. She was doing yoga, and the yoga made her son look different. Yoga can do that. There's many women, they do yoga. You know, they go to the yoga teacher. He teach them how to have a son from different ethnic. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> all right, all right. A cat, change your name and come back. I enjoy <laughs> doing that to cats. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <coughs> uh, anyone want the reference? You can just search the reference for all those things in front of you. Actually, let me give you the, uh, uh, I cannot post the link here. This is, it will be long. But anyway, you can take any of them. You can search maybe, maybe like my wife has given birth to a black boy and you will find the reference in the website. All right, guys, I want to say thank you for being here and uh, don't forget uh, if you don't want to make the Muslims upset about speaking about Muhammad, uh, you can use a new name, brand new name, which is obviously will not make them be uh, offended. Uh, Prophet Muhammad Lulabula and Allah Mulabula. This way they cannot say you are talking about their Prophet or anything because different, different God and this obviously different Prophet. But the stories about them is very similar, even identical. But they are not the same one. No. Identical stories. Identical history. Identical text. Identical book. But they are not the same prophet, brother. This way, no Muslim will be offended because you are speaking about Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. He's a peace upon him. We cannot say anything. So we have to speak about a different person. Muhammad, Lula Bula, is the one we will target from now on. And Allah, Lula Bula, Mula Bula, is the God we will expose. Forget about Muhammad, Prophet, peace upon him. We will talk about Muhammad Dula Bula. So I hope you like the story of Muhammad Dula Bula. And don't forget to download the movie, uh, I mean, the video about Lula Bula Mula, uh, because we will not give it for Lula forever here. So we have, uh, you know, 
take uh, your, your opportunity Lula and uh, put your Mula in the download uh, link Lula and uh, get, get uh, all the Lula all right so uh, I say to you uh, Lula uh, everybody and me Mula uh, we you know take take care of you uh, uh, the peace of Allah Mula Bula uh, with you and Prophet Muhammad Lula uh, Bula has mercy uh, upon you okay take care and see you in, uh, as soon as Lula Bula allowed us to do our Mula Lula. Thank you very much and take care. And uh, commercial break. Bye-bye.